Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Please click on the subscribe button to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Hey guys, in this session we are going to talk about network interfaces. Now whenever you launch your EC2 instances, your EC2 instances will be launched within a network. Now as of now we are going with the default VPC. So these network interfaces will contain the network information like it will contain the public IP address, the private IP address, the subnet, the security group and all that information. So your elastic network interface, which is also referred to as your network interface is your logical networking component. So basically it's your networking component within your VPC and this represents your virtual network card. So the network card of your server is basically given by your network interfaces. You can create a network interface, you can attach it to an instance, detach it from an instance and you can attach it to another instance. So by default whenever you launch your EC2 instances you get the primary network interface. Now in addition to that if you want to create more um, network interfaces you can create the network interfaces. You can attach it to an existing instance, you can detach it and attach it to some other instance. Now the attributes of your network interface follow it as it is attached or detached from one instance and attached to another instance. So as you start attaching and uh, detaching the network interfaces from one instance to another instance, the network interface also follows the traffic. So whatever the network traffic is um, going to be there, it will follow the network interface. And uh, when you uh, move your network interface from one instance to another instance, the network traffic also follows the network interface. So Let's say you have instance one and you have attached the network interface to instance one. And when you detach and reattach it to instance two, the network traffic also starts flowing to the new instance, which in our case will be the instance two. Now, by default, you cannot detach the primary network interface of an instance. So whenever you launch the instances, you get a primary net network interface and you cannot detach it. You can only work with uh, secondary network interfaces, creating secondary interfaces or attaching and detaching can be done only with your secondary network interfaces. You can create and attach additional network interfaces and the maximum number of network interfaces that you can attach uh, depends on the instance type that you're going to select. So here, what I have done is I have launched two EC2 instances. So this is server one. And if I go to this networking over here, I should find my network interface. So this is the network interface that is created. So this is the primary network interface. So when you launch your EC2 instances, you get the primary network interface. Likewise, for the second instance here, I'll have one network interface. Now, all of these network interfaces are available under your networking interfaces over here. So every time you launch your instances, your uh, uh, network interfaces gets created. So here, if you see, I have three network interfaces. This was created as an example. So here I have two network interfaces, which is attached to one instance, and this is uh, attached to another instance. So here, uh, if you if you look at the details here, you should be able to see the network interface ID and whether it is attached or not. What is the security group you have attached, which is the VPC, which is the subnet, uh, in which availability zone you have launched, then the private IP address, the public IP address, all that information, you'll be able to see the MAC address, to which instance it is attached, all those things. Now, this is my primary network interface. Now, if you want to attach more network interface, you can do that. For that, you will need to create uh, secondary network interfaces. So to create your uh, secondary network interfaces, you can go here, click on create network interface, give it a name and then in which subnet you want to create it. Now, if you want to attach this to an existing instance, then make sure you are creating this network interface in the same availability zone as your instance is running. So here my EC2 instance, it is running in. So let's say we'll go with uh, server one for now. And my server one is running in US East 1E. So we'll go with that. So when creating it, make sure you select the same availability zone, which is 1E. And then for the private IP, we will go with auto assign. You can also uh, go with custom IP. If you want to choose the IP address, you can do that or you can go with the custom IP. Then comes the security group. So we'll attach the security group. You can add your tags. So let's call this as test secondary and then create the network interface. So this becomes my secondary network interface and you will see the status is in 
available. Now please remember that when you're creating your secondary network interfaces, uh, you don't get public IP addresses, you get only private IP addresses. So here if you see, uh, the public IP is empty. Now to attach this to an existing instance, go to Actions, click on Attach, and you should be able to see the instance. So let's say for now we'll go with Server 1, and I will attach this. And uh, now I have two network interface for my Server 1. So if I refresh this page, and if I select server one, go into the networking page, here I should see two network interface. This is my secondary and this is the primary that we have created. And also here, you can see there are two private IP addresses now. So either the traffic can flow using this IP address or using this IP address. So this is how you create and attach additional network interfaces. Now if you want to detach it and attach it to another instance, you can do that also. But you can only do that with your uh, secondary network interface so this is my secondary network interface let's detach it and um, I will detach this which will uh, now my secondary network interface will become available so here let's refresh this let's give it some time it's not yet detached Okay, so now here the test secondary it is in the available status and now I can attach this to some other instance. So let's refresh this. Select actions and wait for it here you should be able to see this uh, attach option. Uh, once you see that option you can attach this to your other instance. So I'm just waiting for this to um, uh, get enabled. Okay, so now here if you see it is not attached to any instance, so I can select it, go to actions, attach it and now I can attach it to my server 2. So now my server 2, so whatever the traffic that was uh, there with my secondary network interface will now start, uh, will now start flowing to my second server, server 2. Sure. So that's how you work with your network interfaces. So it's it's basically your network interface information. Uh, it's your logical network card that contains the information about your network. Now this is in the new console. If you go to the old console over here, when you click on this, this will take you to the old console. So this is the old console. And if you, if you go to server one, and if you scroll down here, sorry, go to server two, and here you should be able to see the network interface. So ETH0 is your primary network interface and ETH1 is your secondary network interface. So when I click on this, uh, this is the network information I have. So the VPC ID, the owner, uh, attachment time, private IP address, public IP address, a security group. And likewise, when I click on ETH1, which is my secondary network interface, I don't have the public IP address, but I have the private IP address, a security group, VPC, and all that information. So that's about the network interface. That's all I have for this uh, session. I will see you in the next video. Thank you.